What's up guys, it's Nistro here, and we are here talking about the ARG ban list that they released for the ARG events only. This does not affect the actual game of Yu-Gi-Oh! or any regional qualifier or any official Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament. But this is more for the ARG $40,000 circuit series thing that I have no clue about that and that I've never been to. But this ban list looks stupid, so let's get into it. Now, uh, from the top of the list to the bottom, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. So, from the top of the list to the bottom, you see Jin, release of Rituals banned, long time coming. Fusion Gate banned, no purpose at all. Lava Chain banned, that caused a lot of ruckus. It was a scapegoat hit. Uh, Necros of Trula, it was an annoying card. Whether it deserved to get banned or not, I have no idea. I face Necros a lot. I know Trishula is an, like a dick card, but you know, it's it's not that hard to get rid of people. Like it's the only time I see Trishula as a bad thing is when it's like when there's also a Royal Decree on the field. Or when I don't have a Veiler. But that's that's the that's really yeah. Other than that, it's not much of a problem because if you leave like no cards in your hand or no cards in your grave, then it's pointless. It's just twenty seven hitter. Uh, Royal Magical Library they banned that. Uh, we we all know that chicken race combo whack. Uh, and they banned Vandy's. That was a long time coming. Uh, I I'm pretty sure English Konami would do the same thing. Uh, you know, on the next list if. If uh, circumstances come to it, because you know, uh, the English Konami they're deciding to take like an extra week or two to really discuss through the list. Although the list is probably already done, because um, uh, because we all know that they make the list beforehand, and they. <sighs> so as I was saying before, I was really interrupted. Uh, Vanity's long time coming. To one, we got Seer. Who who cares? Running Abyss are broken anyway. Uh, they limited Construct and El Shadow Fusion. Uh, Shadows weren't really doing anything uh, in the last few events, so I don't see why, but, uh, you know, top players, so. Uh, Alright, uh, Bubble Man and Stratos put to one. Bubble Man, that's a, w a bit of a weird choice. I, I don't, I don't think they want people spamming acid, uh, because now, now they have Shadow Mist and Blaze Man, so it's so easy to search out. Like you get a Palmerization, a Mass Change, and a free monster in the same turn just because of Blaze Man. Like Blaze Man's a, a great card. I don't, I, I don't see why people underestimate it. Like people think Blaze Man is, but they're tripping. Uh, so Shadows, yeah, I know people. People were hype over that, so a lot of the hero players are just gonna play ARG list just because of that. Although, if Konami does that, which I hope they bring back Stratos and Gateway, so both heroes and samurais are playable. Uh, they put Instant Fusion to one. Uh, Noden before you know, because Noden's coming out in like August. Uh, well, whenever the Megatons come out, yeah, because Noden was confirmed for that. Um, they limit a mistake. Uh, but looking at this list, they didn't hit Satellers at all. It's, if anything, they made Satellers better because they hit, hit Vanities, they hit Mistake. Um, yeah, they didn't really hit uh, Stellars on this list. I, I think AR, like this, the list has a bias for Stellars. Uh, I, I, ju I, I just think maybe because they, they don't think Stellars are good without Vanities or Chain. Although they probably still are. Um, Unicorn limited to one. Uh, that is pretty pretty straightforward. Not 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 really surprised about that. Zen Mighty limited. I don't know how the whole loop goes. I, j I know that you need both things to do it, and I'm pretty sure you can't do it now. But it's nice to see windups getting something back. I guess I I haven't really faced a pro windup deck. Uh, ever they they got banned before I could do that so oh well uh, next is Dante to two that's that, that's a slap on the wrist 
for Burning Abyss. Uh, Dragon Ravine to two. Why not bring to three? Dragon Rulers are gone. I doubt Dragoonies will make a difference. Hornet to two. I hate Hornet with passion. Uh, mainly because it can't be stopped. Uh, well, like, back when I started playing Samurais, uh, I couldn't stop it. Because, you know, Shien was all I really relied on back then. Um, Rescue Rabbit to two. Why not bring the three? Summoner's Art to two. That's a slap on the wrist for Cleese. They didn't really hit Cleese on this list either. And Cleese, Cleese are annoying. I, I mean, they got rid of Vandies. So, I mean, now you could face towers without having Vandies on the field. Um, lose one turn is still at three for this list for some reason. Uh, I don't know how that's balanced, you know, like, but let's, let's keep going. Uh, Torrential Tribute 2 is probably for Stellars, uh, or most other decks. Uh, Wind Up Magician to 2. Um, that's like, I don't know. Windups probably need it more than I know, right? Because um, no longer restricted. I like how they're using the word restricted instead of like limited. Um, Chaos Sorcerer. Who cares? Uh, Dark Hole. Glow Bulb. Uh, I think that's they're trying to make synchros relevant again. When when that whole um. When the Stardust Warrior structure deck comes out, I'm gonna be making that. I'm gonna be buying me three structure decks, and I'm gonna make that deck. Um, yeah, uh, I I think they're trying to make Plant Synchro or Plant whatever relevant again. And Sacred Swords is seven stars at three. I don't know what deck that helps other than Dragon Rulers. Dragon Rulers are dead, and I wouldn't know. But uh, overall, I think this list is absolute trash. Except for the part where they banned Vandies and put Shadows to one. Other than that, this list is absolute trash, in my opinion. Due to the fact that it does not, it, it, it may have gotten rid of Nacros, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't like balance the game out. I mean, Van Vandies, the the lower tier decks needed Vanities basically um, to be able to catch up to speed with these higher tier decks and now that Vandy's gone um, mistake is limited how, how are lower tier decks supposed to stand up to stuff like Klee's and Stellar's I, I'm even hearing Harpies at a new meta I'm like and like and now um, heroes have their own stuff I mean they, they just took two decks and put two two more decks in Insectors in, in may come back because a Hornet to two uh, that could actually do a lot of damage uh, Dark Hole going to three. I doubt Fire Kings will come back, but oh, I'm so close. I doubt Fire Kings will come back, but um, it's not. It's it's still a possibility. You know, dude, this is really like playing for money. So I guess uh. I'm glad that they hit Instant Fusion though, because I, I, I think, yeah, Instant Fusion and Royal Magical Library, I, I think that that was a good choice for them on, on their part. Uh, yeah, but other than that, I think this list is trash. Uh, anyway, that's my opinion. If you want to uh, tell me about yours or just lick butt, you could uh, do that in the comments below. Um, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description. This was Nistro here and Nistro out.